Hey, what is up? I'm excited today to be able to bring you a preview of Zero Caliber Reloaded coming to the Quest and Quest 2 a week from today. This is a first person story based campaign shooter, which we have very few of, honestly, on the Quest platform. But what makes this even more special is the fact that you can actually play this in co op four people at a time and play through the story campaign. It's got tons of customization options for the guns, really cool mechanics for gun handling. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. I'll show you around and we'll check out one mission. All right, we're here in the operations center for Zero Caliber Reloaded. Let me show you around a little bit before we jump into a mission. First of all, we gotta go say hi to this dude. Salute him just for fun because uh, why the heck not? So let's start over here. This is just the thank you board really quickly and we'll go backwards. This is squad operations right here, okay? So that means that you can jump into multiplayer servers and play with friends up to four people. And there's different location servers, different difficulty levels. You can host your own game, invite friends. And this allows you to actually play through the story campaign with up to four people and uh which is pretty awesome and you can change the different settings here um once this game launches i'm sure this will fill up but that's pretty cool to be able to jump through and play a co-op campaign in story mode and if you want to do solo this is your solo operations this is the campaign for solo there is several missions and you can choose your loadout and your difficulty level for each one your loadout is over here and <laughs> there is a ton this is your ranking here how much money you have and uh, your XP level, there is a massive amount of customization you can you can do to these weapons. And the fun thing is, you can actually customize them in real time. So if you have different items you want to take off of a gun, so say there's a gun laying there, you can pick up enemy's weapons, but you want to take your scope with you, just rip it off of your gun, and put it on your new weapon. Right now I've got an AK-47 attached to my chest, and an M1911 attached to my side, and you've got grenades here, um, you can actually take, oops, let me grab a grenade, actually, there we go, you can grab a grenade, and you can pull the pin, or you can pull it with your teeth and throw it, it's got a trail so you can see where it is, <laughs> where um, it is, and uh, that way you can keep an eye on where it is and not run over it, uh, but this is the, uh, the KA-47, technically I suppose, it's not an AK-47, <laughs> in this game anyways, um, you got an AR-4, AK Val, AKM, AR-18, um, and you can change to SMGs, shotguns, snipers, and you can upgrade your pistol as well. This is your primary weapon. You can actually put a pistol in your primary weapon. You can dual wield if uh, if you want to in this game, which is pretty cool. So I can grab this, oops, and this, and I can dual wield. Probably would have been easier if I would have done it the other way around. And you can switch slots if you want to. So let me just grab this off of here. But I'd rather have my pistol on my chest and my primary on my side. I can do that. I can switch it around, which is pretty cool and unique. I'm not sure I've really seen that in many games. Uh, but yeah, you can grab... Let's just grab... I know I have another one unlocked somewhere. Where is it? I guess I don't. I had an MP5 somewhere. Now it's gone. Maybe I can't use an... Oh, that's that's right. MP, it's an MP5 is a SMG. I forgot. Um, it's an AP5. Um, but you can actually... You can equip it and then customize it. And there's tons of different options you can get as you rank up. I'm only a rank 10 right now. But you can get different suppressors. Let's go to the optics. You can get different optical upgrades, including different scopes, different mounts, red dots, lasers... Side rail, you can add additional stuff to the side rail. I'm going to go in here and just show you how all this works in just a second. You can add additional grips. You can add additional stocks. Let me go in and just show you how some of that works, because this is the shooting range, and you can actually play around in the armory and try different weapons. First of all, though, let's fire this sucker. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyways. That obviously is the pistol, but what you can do is you can take, you can add everything to it, and you can actually, this is the side rail one, I believe. No, this is the, the top. Where is this? I don't have a side rail. Oh, right there. Okay, that's why. That's the laser. <laughs> There's the optics right there. You can actually, instead of taking it off as you can, you can do that, which, which is pretty freaking satisfying. See, knock it off like that. 
And then we've got this like souped up AK-47 or A-47 or KA-47 or whatever they call it in this. Another thing you can do too is knock off the magazine to reload it. You change your rate of fire. Single rate is there single fire. And then there's automatic. And it definitely, definitely has some massive kick to it if you're not dual wielding or twilling, yeah. If you're not holding it with two hands. So that's the that's the customization in this game. This is the armory, which is pretty freaking awesome. Sniper, shotgun, same idea. Um, I love this one. Let's try it. There we go. Uh -huh. How many shells does this hold? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shells. That just feels so satisfying. <laughs> that just really jumps. All right. There we go. Now we got weapons all over the floor. Let me uh, take my deagle out. Ready? Here we go. Oh. Helps if you have a magazine. And the cool thing about the target practice is it actually shows you where you're hitting on the target. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So you can just fire and it shows you which that was really really bad but pretty cool huh all right let's jump into a mission really quick and we'll uh we'll show you how the game plays all right here we are in the mission this is the lumberyard mission i think this is the second mission in the campaign and uh we've grabbed this new weapon i just whoa crap shoot talking. I was talking and uh, distracted and they started shooting at me. Oh, right up there. One unique thing about this game is some of the locomotion in this game, actually. You can crouch if you want to physically crouch, obviously you can but by pulling down on the right thumbs you can crouch or you can actually jump, which is pretty cool. And you can climb pretty much anything, if I remember correctly. Yep, you can climb anything. Kind of like in Population 1. So if you want to hang up here and fire at some people you can. Just be careful because you, uh, oh crap. You can't glide in this game. All right, here we go. Oops, wrong button. Got one guy. See him go flying? <laughs> like I said, you can pick up other weapons. So if you want to dual wield, you can. Or if you want to just stick with one. And I want to show you something really quick too, because there's actually, there's actually, um, that guy right there, you can actually melee too. <laughs> which is, which is unique to be able to hit people with your weapon. Alright, play C4. Oh, run! There we go, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to get too far away because I wanted to see the explosion. Hi there, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I hit him and it didn't do anything. Alright. Oh, shoot. Sniper. There we go. Operate the crane, okay. Ah, cool, okay. Here we go. Oh, crap, more people. Oh, shoot. I changed it to green somehow. How did I change my laser dot to green? I don't know how I did that. Gotcha. Let's work our way through the wood pile.
Gotcha. Oh, there he is. Oh, crud. There. Make sure I've got plenty of ammo here. There. Keep on moving. Like I said, this is a story-based campaign. Um, right now we're looking for... I can't remember what we're looking for. We're looking for something. I gotta clear the warehouse. There we go. <laughs> and uh, this is like in a futuristic... Not futuristic, but it's like an alternative future where the world is fighting for water. And we're working our way towards Chicago, if I remember correctly. Oh, crap. We're going our way towards Chicago trying to get water against the bad guys. Oh, shoot. Did I secure it? I did. I think I secured it. Let me make sure I got ammo here. Alright, there. We did it. <laughs> Not a very good accuracy. 35%. 47 kills. 14 headshots. Corporal 2. We've unlocked some new stuff, too. Flash, suppressor, a shotgun clip. The DMR-14, SMG-90, tactical laser, extended magazine, MP Black. Okay, a whole bunch of new stuff we've unlocked. A ton of stuff. Ooh, look at that. You can get a skin, the KA-47 Striped. There you go. There is a preview of Zero Caliber Reloaded on the Quest 2. Like I said, this is launching a week from today on Quest 1 and Quest 2. What are your thoughts on this game? Are you going to grab it and try out the single player, or are you going to jump in and play some co-op in multiplayer? Personally, I can't wait to jump in with some friends and play co-op, but the single player is fun as well. If you want to keep up to date on all things Quest and Quest 2, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.